purpose of the snoot is to create a small area of light. And in this, we've actually got a honeycomb filter in there as well. So this will direct the light very significantly in a small spotted area on the background. So with the snoot, we need to pull this further back towards our model and drop it right behind her. Undo the locking ring, take off the reflector on the floor and put our snoot onto there. Lock it into place. And the important thing with the snoot is not to have the modeling light on, purely because the heat will build up. So we must ensure that the light is not on. A flash we can adjust as much as we like, but the modeling light must be turned off. So now the snoot has actually created a spotlight on the background. To summarize, remember the modeling light must be turned off. The head is pointed towards the background to create a spot of light. There are other things we can do with a snoot. For instance, we could put it onto the back of the hair, which is what we'll do now. So we take our light roughly into this sort of position out here. We need to aim it in the direction of the model so that the light is coming up and just catching the side of the hair just here. Let's take a picture and see how it looks. So now we can see that the hair is illuminated on the side and it gives a, a much more pleasing effect to the whole image. Again, the modeling light must be turned off. So we've seen how easy it is to use a snoot. An alternative to that is a set of barn doors, which gives a wider spread of light, which also comes complete with a set of colored gels, which is red, yellow, and blue. And we'll come onto those later on. There is also a honeycomb in the center. And this gives us the wider spread of light that we're going to require for our next shot. So to replace the, the snoot with the barn doors, first of all, we need to put the original reflector back on. That will just go back onto there, like that. And the barn doors has a little clip on the back here, which clips around the edge of the reflector. And that can go onto the reflector, like so. And clip that into place at the back, just there, like that. Then we can still have the light need to lift this up a touch, bring this back up to here, roughly in line with the back of the model's head, adjust our barn doors at the front so we stop any stray light going towards the camera and then we can put our light on again. Again, we don't want the modelling light on, very important. So now looking at this image, we can actually see that the light on the hair is far too bright. Uh, and that's destroyed the foreground lighting in many respects. So we need to turn the light down a little. Also, I'd probably move it around a touch. So, let's turn the light down on the power. Just a touch to about half the power because it was too bright. And I'm also going to move the light round now just a touch more. And then I'm going to lift it up a little higher to point it down as well into this sort of position and just tilt the head down very gently. That should do us quite nicely. Let's have another picture. So with our alternative second picture we've now got the light coming across the top of the head which I feel is a lot more pleasing than the previous picture where the light came all the way down the side. Now that that's worked quite well for us, let's see what the gels will do. Now we need to pop in the gel, open up the barn doors, and we can use these clips up here and down at the bottom to feed our gel into place up against here. And then we can have another shot and see how that looks too. So with the yellow gel in place, we can actually see we've created a nice warm effect. Let's have a look at the red one. With the red gel, we can see that we've matched Donna's top quite nicely. Also, we can see that the light is going across onto Donna's arm, which gives us a nice pleasing effect. 
With the blue gel in place, we can see that we've got a lesser effect than we had with the other colours because the gel is much darker. Let's see what happens if we turn it onto the back cloth instead. Now we can see that our grey background has got a few blue highlights, which works very effectively in our images.